Welcome back, people of YouTube, to my YouTube channel, a channel that helps and supports anyone working in the wedding photography industry. Either you're looking to break into the industry or you just want to see how another photographer approaches this field, and that's, that's me. I'm Sam, a wedding photographer in the UK who shoots all over Europe. And if you like the vibe, hit subscribe. I can't, am I, the first? I can't be the first one to come up with that, can I? I think I, think I should trademark that. Should I trade? Hit, if you like the vibe, hit subscribe. Okay, so I wanted to get a little something off my chest today and talk about what I consider to be one of the fundamental reasons so many creatives, and I suppose in my case here, photographers, struggle to make that step from harboring a dream of being a professional photographer to it being the reality and actually being a professional photographer. And I believe in this so much so that I'm sat here today in my gym gear, which would usually be a totally valid excuse to not film today and just put it off until tomorrow or another day. But if you bear with me, you'll understand why this is totally relevant. But over the last week, I've had a couple of chats with photographers that have followed a similar kind of dialogue. And each one of them kind of went a little bit like this, into character. Yeah, I really want to be a photographer. I love names an established and highly regarded professional photographer. Their work is amazing. I'd love to get into that industry. And here's my Instagram account. Shows me a very sporadic Instagram account featuring pictures shot on a phone and their latest holiday and a dog, obviously out of character. And just to be clear, there's nothing wrong with this. We all start there, every single one of us. I did. It feels like 10 minutes ago when actually it's 11 plus years now. But what is it that separates those who have that idea and five years later are still in the day job from those that have that idea and end up turning pro? I'm about to give you my thoughts and I suppose there's a key reason with a few sub, few sub reasons in there for you. But for me, it starts with, well, just that, starting. One of the biggest hurdles creatives often face is the fear of starting. We all get caught up in overthinking and analyzing every aspect and detail, which is just paralyzing. However, the truth is the journey begins the moment we take that first step, regardless of how small it may seem. And comparison doesn't help matters. It's amazing that we can see these established and highly regarded professionals in our industry. But rather than seeing them and feeling like you aren't ever going to be good enough, See them as an inspiration, a sign that you can do it. You can go after that, but you're gonna to have to work hard because I can tell you now with 100% certainty that the photographer you admire and look up to has grafted. They've had moments of self-doubt, questioned their work, probably even hated their work, and they probably still feel like an imposter, but they have something that many don't, and that's why they're there. They have a drive to go out and do it anyway, regardless of what others might think. I don't believe for a second that any photographer in this industry gets to where they are by luck. You make your own luck here. And if you sat around waiting for that perfect moment or opportunity to arise and present itself, that perfect shot to happen in your portfolio, you're gonna be waiting for many, many, many years to come. The sooner that you can accept this is a process, a journey of development and education, the sooner that you'll be one of those photographers that others look up to and are inspired by. The quicker you can just get out there, shoot, edit, learn, reevaluate your work, then shoot again, applying those lessons, the sooner you'll be on that path. Creativity is a continuous journey of growth and exploration. Rarely does a project ever turn out exactly how we initially envisioned it. Envisioned it, envisioned it. It's a tough one. But therein lies the beauty of the creative process. It opens up opportunities for unexpected discoveries. Doors will open that you could just never have predicted, but they won't present themselves if you're sat at home trying to perfect how to take a photo. You need to be out there taking photos, making mistakes, getting shots wrong. Like, hell, I've taken countless bad frames and I still do, but the key is taking them and learning from them. To bring this to a close, I suppose the point I'm trying to make is this. You've got to get out there. If you're at the beginning of the journey, you're not supposed to know everything but you need to be open to everything, to learning it, to practicing it. And trust me, you do that every day for three, four, five months, and then just take a moment to look back and reflect 
I guarantee you'll be in a totally different place. Finally, don't be afraid to tell people either. Shout about yourself and what it is you want to do. A good friend of mine when I started out in this industry told me something that still rings true for me right now, and that is this. Activity breeds activity. So here I am, filming this on a day I hadn't planned to, in my gym gear, ignoring the excuses to just do it on another day because this is also a journey and a process. And I'm still figuring this out, just like you are. Right, I think it's time to go and hit the gym. Been putting it off for a few hours, but I am gonna go. See you in a bit.